What's up guys? Today I'm going to be taking a look at this really neat looking RC truck by Meisty. I've never heard of the name brand Meisty, but I really th thought this truck looked really cool and I really was really happy to get a hold of it because it's a really sharp looking truck with some pretty nice features for you know, a rather affordable price. I'll show you the box so we can see that name brand here. I've never heard of Meisty and I assume I'm pronouncing it right. Um, the model number on this is um, the number uh, 8812, and it's in red, of course, and they also have blue, and of course they've got an 8813 that looks like it's available in red and black. Some of the information here is that universal drive shafts that are metal, um, those metal swing shaft dry, uh, dog bones, and a full metal uh, gear differential. Um, I don't, I think it has ball bearings, but I can't say for certain. I mean, it, it lists as bearings in the instruction manual, so I'm pretty sure those are ball bearings or not bushings. Um, the truck itself, like I said, is a really sharp looking truck. Um, it does not have oil filled shocks, so suspension's a little bit bouncy there, just spring shocks. Now, I opened up one of the shocks here. And it almost looks like you could take oil, but I wouldn't try that, it's probably gonna leak out. It really has to be designed and sealed for oil or it will leak out. So you, know, you could definitely add oil-filled shocks to this very easily, and you're gonna get out, you know, even much, a much more dampened and smoother uh, suspension, and you know, it's gonna handle jumps better, and it's gonna drive a little bit better. Otherwise, it's fully proportional steering. You know, with the real servo in there, it's not the bam, bam, you know, non-proportional. Of course, same thing with the throttle, uh, fully proportional. Let's go ahead and take the body off. I did, there was that protective sheen on this, I believe, so I pulled that off. That's why it's even nice, you know, it's nice and glossy. It's a little bit dull whenever that's left on the truck. As you can see, all the electronic components here, except for the servo, a steering servo that is, all the other stuff is, uh, fully enclosed in here. And it's, uh, you know, it's pretty close to being sealed. I wouldn't say it's sealed, so it's not gonna be waterproof, but it's certainly gonna be dust proof, dirt proof. Um, I really like that they did that. I'm nice, you got your ESC receiver uh, all um, enclosed within here. Here's your on and off switch. Like I said, there's your steering servo. There's a drive shaft from front to back because this is four wheel drive. Of course, so like I said, it's already, it has a differential in it. It's a little bit of a metal, plate here to kind of help protect the motor. The motor is a 390 size brushed motor, so pretty common for this uh, size. I believe this is one 12th scale, and um, also pretty common at this price point. Um, sometimes you'll see 540 size, but 390 is what you usually do see in this class. Now, it is mostly plastic with the exception of this aluminum here. Um, but it seems to be rather well built. Uh, I wouldn't be overly concerned about it breaking unless you hit something really, really hard. These steering arms here, you know, these are plastic. So, you know, these would certainly be the most likely thing to break if you clipped, uh, clipped a wall or something outside. You know, this is what I used to always break on my kit cars years ago. So that might be the one thing I'd be concerned about. You can easily swap these out for, you know, a, a metal ones or something that's not going to break. Um, Let's take a look at the uh, the battery it comes with. It comes with a two cell, 7.4 volt, 1500 milliamp hour lithium ion battery pack. You see it's hard cell, it's not a LiPo. But you could uh, definitely put a LiPo battery in here if you wanted a little bit more kick than lithium ion. But this is still a good battery. It's much better than having a nickel cadmium battery. As you can see, it uses a balance port on here so you can balance charge this one because uh, of the connector it comes with here is not a standard type connector. Um, so using this on a hobby grade won't be as easy. But the charger that it comes with is just one of these USB ones. So it does balance port charge, but it's pretty slow. It's taken you know, several hours to charge up this battery at 1500 milliamps with that charger. It also comes with a really nice screwdriver. Really, really nice for a kit. And your four way, you know, four in one little hex wrench here to take off the wheels and tires. Um, that kind of stuff. The instruction manual is also really good. I'm just going to flip through it here. You can see it's got all the parts, exploded view for assembly. Let me turn a little this way so it's more visible on the camera. And you know, pretty much uh, what you would hope um, in a decent, you know, RC car to have, you know, a decent uh, instruction manual because you don't always get that. In fact, sometimes in these cars they don't even include an instruction manual. So I like that it has a good instruction manual with it. 
The controller is your uh, pistol grip style, which you'd expect. It has a foam grip, which I'm always a fan of. It's a little more comfortable and less likely to slip in your fingers. Your forward and reverse, um, your on and off. It's got your dual rates for your steering, so you can adjust how much you want the steering uh, radius to be. And your steering trim. There's a bind button, which I had to do when I first turned it on, it did not go. I had to I hold this down while I powered it up, and that put it in bind mode, and then it instantly bound. And then once you do that once, you don't have to do it again. But the instruction man did not mention anything about binding. He just mentioned this was a bind button. So at first I was like, oh great, is there something wrong with the car? It's not doing anything, but it's just a matter of getting it bound up. I don't know if there's anything else here that I did not cover. I mentioned that these have d uh, metal dog bones here. Um, they're just a straight one piece. I think on that on the box, I think it showed it being, what was that? It shows them being like a swing shaft, and that's I don't believe that's what that is. Let me take a closer look. No, these are straight uh, one piece dog bones. These are not those universal drive swing shaft type uh, dog bones in here. So the structure, at least the box label is wrong for this one, but that's fine. You don't need that for this. These metal dog bones are better than the plastic ones. I used to use them to my car years ago. They're not going to, uh, they're not going to bust. So that's good. Uh, one thing I wanted to mention here was the drive compartment. You do have these little, these little dial things you move out of the way and you pop this open. I have, I have trouble getting my, my finger in here to, to pop this door bay open, but it's, it just, you know, it comes off. And there's your little, oddball connector so you've got a decent amount of room you can easily get a two cell uh lipo battery in here as well got a little foam back uh that you know kind of foam in the background there uh the top to kind of hold the battery in place a little bit and uh, just a nice little battery base so i do like this design it's relatively easy to get this open you don't have to mess with having a screwdriver in the field to get your battery out Okay guys, I think that's pretty much enough. I've blabbed on quite a bit already on this truck. So we're gonna take this outside now and we will take it around for a drive review. So be right back. Okay guys, so I have the red, what is it, the Meisty, I believe it's called, <laughs> pickup truck uh, bound to the controller here and we're gonna take it out now for the drive review. As you can see there's all wheel drive and it has the uh, Proportional steering, do you can see it can go a little bit all the way? So it has some nice features. Let's take it on now and drive it around here in the backyard. I want to take it where I can drive it over some rocks and stuff and not just drive it in circles on the driveway, which gets pretty boring. So let's go ahead and set it down. Go ahead and take it out. You can see it moves along pretty good. I mean it's definitely not slow. This would be a good truck. For you know a 10 to 12 year old, someone who may already have some experience with some intro RC, this would be for I think more intermediate because you moved up to fully proportional steering, which is nice. It's a little bit faster, it's a little better built. It's certainly not fast, but it's not slow. Of course, I'm driving uphill here, so that's going to. Uh, slow it down it's about what i expect from a 390 size brush motor on a uh, two cell lithium ion battery Ooh, rammed it into the uh <laughs> rammed it into the fence seems like there's maybe a little bit of range issue there unless i've got Unless my batteries are low on my controller, because uh, I'm not exactly sure why that uh, why that did that there. I tried to steer it, and it still went into the fence. The handle's not too bad. I mean, it's definitely better than the ones that don't have, you know, the ones that uh don't have a proportional steering. That curved way that grass is there, it doesn't handle that steering very well there. It's a bit wider than I would expect. Let's make sure though, I had the, uh, the steering. Let's make sure I don't, yeah, I have it, I have it all the, all the way up on the steering. So I want to make sure I didn't actually bump that. 
Obviously you can adjust the dual race where you have almost no steering. I wanted to make sure I didn't bump that and I didn't. If you let off the throttle just a tad then you can obviously turn a lot quicker. It's pretty much a trick with any of the trucks. Let it off a little bit and get a chance those wheels to turn a little more. I didn't mention a drive time during the uh, the table review, but as usual with these trucks, I mean, uh, drive times can vary quite a bit, depending on what you're driving it through. Obviously, driving through this grass is even going to take up more battery power than driving around on concrete. I had some trucks and cars out in the snow we got a few uh, last Thursday. And I was actually was kind of surprised at how much that reduced the drive time. Not only driving through a wet snow really, uh, you know, just added to how much more battery power to use just to go through that snow, but uh, all the wet snow packed in like my Maximus, I must have had like a pound of snow packed in that thing. <laughs> and it was surprising how much that uh, reduces drive time. I, I can't recall the last time I actually drove it to where it was dead. So similar with this, if you drove, this could certainly go through snow. Um, it's just going to reduce the drive time. You're going to get snow packed in if it's a wet snow. Drive it around here. It's a little. Some of that weird wobble you're seeing is caused by the uh, that pool cover. <laughs> I would suggest probably trying to put some oil-filled shocks on this truck. I think it's going to be a lot more smoother. It's a really bit bouncy. You can adjust the spring tension, but I mean, that's not going to do much. Because I think it's just going to be even bouncier. You're not going to be able to uh, extend them longer to where it's going to be uh, more cushion and less bounce. But it's really stable. I mean, I've not I've not rolled it yet. Now, of course, it's not super fast. For a four-wheel drive 390 brush motor, this is about exactly what you expect. I've got a 390s that are two-wheel drive like the HBX Ground Crusher. It's faster, but it's only two-wheel drive, so it doesn't have as much power. But no problems going up this hill. This is, you know, is a decently steep hill, so it's got pretty good power. It's a really sharp-looking truck. A kid is going to absolutely just go crazy over this. It's like a Christmas present, a uh, birthday present, something like that. Um, but even for an adult, this is not bad. I'm not bored with this truck like I would be with something uh, slower or with non-proportional steering, something like that. This, Since it's got all the things I would want, proportional steering throttle, four-wheel drive, uh, really the only thing it's lacking really is, uh, is uh, oil-filled shocks, which I could easily add to this. And you have a fun with a truck, you don't need to have the fastest truck. Everybody wants speed, and I get that. But this has pretty good power, and it's just right for someone to get into the hobby here a little bit, has some experience, but it doesn't have anything real high end. This is a good stepping stone up to the high end stuff, you know. Um, it kind of has a look like a red cat or something like that, but it's, you know, it's just not really familiar with this, with this name brand. I think it was Meisty. So they might be new. And see how that kind of hit that and jumped and was a little bit rough. That's again, that's the, that spring, uh, spring um, suspension. Overall, my first impressions on not only this truck, but this brand is pretty good. Not bad, better than quite a few I've seen recently. Um, I don't remember the price of this truck offhand. I want to think it was in that, you know, I'm guessing again here. I don't look too closely. I want to think it was somewhere in the uh, uh, 50 to $70 range, something like that. Don't hold me to that. There'll be a purchase link in the description if you're interested in checking this truck out. I'll also include any coupons that TomTop Tom might have given me. I think there might be one. I usually get a coupon, but not always. So I will definitely include that coupon with the purchase link if I have one. All right, guys. Well, I think that shows enough. We don't need to do too many circles and make this review super long and boring. Um, 
overall I really like this truck it's pretty cool I mean you can see I'm driving it through water today the grass is wet from the rain we've had and the snow melt and it has no problems with that and I said I, that compartment inside is close to being sealed I would not say it's waterproof well, that's going to keep all the components nice and dry when it's just a bit of a you know a wet mist or something or even if there's snow really the only critique i could have of this truck right now is siphon i have oil filled shocks which at this price point is pretty rare the px toys 9200 piranha has oil filled shocks at this price point that's the only one i'm aware of um it just doesn't seem to have super good range a few times here just in my yard it was I, if for a moment it didn't seem what I wanted to go, so it could be there's not the best range with this controller. Um, it, I guess it could be my batteries, but it's usually you'll get a, a blinking light if it says that the double A's are not good. Because I, I use my double A's, uh, I take them out and put them in the next thing I review, so I don't have to keep buying double A's. So these double A's are not brand new in here, so that could be part of the problem. Um, but it seems like it's just fine for you know someone who's going to be buying this probably isn't going to need extreme range, but uh, it could be too. Like I said, it could just be a battery. So, all right, guys. So I hope you enjoyed the review of this uh, the Zeisty. Uh, was that what it was? Meisty, not Zeisty. Meisty uh, pickup pickup truck, the Eco Boost. It says on here. Hope you guys are uh, enjoying uh, this Thanksgiving week. I hope you get it posted here by Thanksgiving. And uh, be sure to subscribe, guys, if you're not a subscriber, and press, press the bell so you get notified when I upload new videos. And as always, guys, have a good day. The power of the dark side. side, side.